In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way to set up your WordPress site with recurring payment plugin. And the plugin we're going to use is WP Form. Make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to become better affiliate marketer. You can do that through YouTube and blog and that's what this channel teaches you. And don't forget to hit the bell for notification. Let's go. Hi, my name is Yogesh. Welcome to my channel, Utilize Your Business. Today, we're going to be deploying Stripe Recurring Payment Plugin on our WordPress website in three easy steps. It's super easy. It doesn't require any coding knowledge or prior experience. Let me show you how it's done. My assumption is if you're watching this video, you want to know how to start collecting payments on your website rather than redirecting it to uh, some other website or landing page for that matter. If that is true, let me know in the comment yes or no. Accepting credit card payment on your website will reduce the card abandonment and also increase your conversion rate. If you're selling any services or product on your website, then it's important for the customer to be able to buy that product with the credit card on that website uh, for that matter not to be redirected to third party website so it's really important to have that form set up on your website with recurring uh, stripe payment process plugin you can easily do that on your website oh, easy, 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 easy. watch this video till the end to find out how to properly set up and start taking the payments on your website all right so let's start building the um, order form and um, I'll show you step by step how to build the order form and what uh, you have to input it to start uh, collecting the recording payment. The plugin we're going to use is WP Form. It's one of the best form builder for the WordPress websites. It's easy to use. You don't have to worry about coding and all that. So let's go to add new. And this is where we, you're going to have all kind of forms. They have templates for it. Now we're going to use is this and we can name it uh, order form. It's easy or you can name whatever you want. I like to use template rather than using a blank form and then customize from the template. So let's click on that. So the first one when you look at is is all the field. The most of the field is there. We just need to add a few more. And right here is see what it means is required. So you can go in there and turn it on and off. So, and also you can drag and drop wherever you want it. I like the way it is right now on the phone. I don't need to require people to put in their phone. Uh, some people won't put their phone in and they might not go ahead with the payment. So you can, you know, it's not required. The address you want to make sure is international for that matter. Sorry, the phone also you want to make sure it's international. Now the available items. What you can do is you can um, so I have a Chrome extension that I sell on monthly terms too. So what I'll do is I'll just put that Chrome extension. Right. And the first one item is the um, two Chrome extension. Now these Chrome extension are to help you with your Facebook marketing. Again, if you want to know, you know what's coming. I'll put the link in the description. You can go ahead and watch the video. If you want to add the second and third, you can. For this, for example, I won't. So you can just put it in. And then if you want to add, you can just do that. It's pretty straightforward. Now the price for the two one is 27. Right here, if you do this, toggle this, it will show you the price. And if you want to use image, you can. You know, you can upload the image. Let's try to upload an image. I already have it here. We can use the image. I just want to make sure, you know, show you how it is. And um, you might or might not want to use the image at all. It's up to you. All right. So let's use this one. And let's use this image. Okay. And then we go down to the total amount right you want to make a comment or message and now the other fields we need is we can add is the for the recurring we will use the drop down menu so we can put it here so the first is we can just say then the other one we can for this is zero 
So that is $27 per month. Yes, monthly recurring subs. So something to, you know, make the the uh, customer know exactly what they're buying it because otherwise they're going to, they might, you know, uh, whatever the processor is, you know, call them or, or put a email them saying, well, I didn't do correctly. So I'll try to put as much information as possible so that at least they know what it is. Okay. And we don't need third item. Uh, you can just put the right. This is about it. Okay, summit. So the summit, we can just put pay now. And then do you have sending and all that? So the fields is all down. Now, the next thing you need to know is you need to, how you're gonna take the payment. So the WP form have, you know, these are the three payment processes you can do. PayPal is pretty good. Stripe, uh, I like Stripe more for um, people who are selling digital products. You can search it out and see whatever it is. Any of these two is fine, but in this video, we're gonna use the Stripe. And then you need to install the Stripe add-on. WP Form will do that for you. So we just need to activate it. You just need to have, uh, make a Stripe uh, account. If you haven't, it's pretty simple to uh, make a Stripe account. Now I already have the Stripe account. I'm just going to show you how to connect with the WP form your Stripe account so you can take a recurring payment from them. So right there. Okay, so let's go here, field, and let's go down to the Stripe card and where we need it is right here right so okay let's save it so please proceed go to payment stripe and check the enable payments okay so payments so we just need to check the enable payments payment description again this is the one they're going to get it so let's select the email where they're going to get the um, receipt from the stripe so the email that they already input in now this is for enable the recurring payments so that's oops. and the plan name again i'm going to put the same to uh from okay here i'm not going to put the monthly recurring okay so it's two chrome extension plan two chrome extension extension monthly okay and then there's a dot on the one yearly monthly quarterly in this video it is for monthly select the name email now the other thing you need to do is enable the logic Chrome extension is to Chrome right so only process the payment monthly if they select the to Chrome extension and let's save it and let's go back to the field are you missing anything yes yes okay save now let's go to preview this and see how it is so you have the name, last name, email, it's all required. The phone, the address is required. The phone is not required. Let's go down to Chrome extension. Um, then you can have this, right? The total amount is zero. Ooh. And this total amount is 27. Okay, how about that? And this, okay. Now that's good. So there's no monthly recurring and they just put it for one month, the 27 one-time payment. Then you have the credit card number, the month, year, and the thing, the name, 
and the comment and then you have the pay now right so this is it it looks pretty good now let's go back and save it then we go back to the setup get out of here and I just want to make sure the stripe payments is in the setting is enabled once we install the plugin I'm pretty sure it's enabled right but just want to make sure that it is done so that uh, people watching this video are not missing this step so we go to payments and it is connected now for people who just want to do a test mode they can just click this for the test mode or people who have more than one account they might have to you know once it's set it up if it's one account it's already set it up or you connect and just make sure that you save it and remember when we turn on the stripe integration in the plugin you will probably see the wp form stripe integration uh, plugin so let me show you where it is right here now how to put that into your website it's pretty straightforward there's two things either you can get the short code right or what you can do is okay let's go to post right add new all right so right here you can do the block and just look for wp right here and then you select the form right here is the form and it's there right there is the form the other way you can do also do is if you go back and there is a short code that you can also put it in now you can put it in or you can also put it in the short code into your um, on any page of the website you can also put the short code so it's pretty pretty easy to use I'm just gonna go back and show you the uh, short code where it is and that should be it for this video that we've set it up everything is done we did the stripe integration showed you how the recording is the condition uh, right here is the short code so if you can just copy that and again I'm gonna go back and show you that uh, it's uh, pretty simple those are two ways that you can uh, put it on the post or in the in the websites from where you want to put it on just put the short code is right here and let's preview it right here see the form and everything is here all right right so it's pretty good this is it so and now if you want to do with the PayPal it's pretty much the same you just have to integrate your PayPal into this and, and go from there you know this is how easy to set up your stripe recurring payments on your wordpress sites with stripe all right guys so that's what it is how easy was it to set up your um, recurring payment uh, through stripe first of all you need is the um, wp form uh, plugin then the second all is need you need is the stripe account and uh, wp form will connect your uh, stripe account um, with it and third is just making sure that you have the logic conditions for your uh, recurring payments all right guys this is where the video stops um, make sure you like this video give a thumbs up if you learned something new was there anything that's eye-opener make sure put in the comment let me know how this video was how is it so that the other people uh, who are searching on the YouTube will show my video uh, to them and uh, help them to set up the uh, recurring payments make sure to subscribe to my channel those of you who still haven't subscribed to my channel hit that bell for the notification you're notified for all the new videos that do come up and in the meantime make sure you watch our another video that I did on WP form how to set up contact form to start collecting the email address and start building the email list for your uh, business all right guys see you in next video bye